Hello. In today's story session, we will see the story. Moo Moo Brown Cow. Have you any milk? The author is Jay Shri Deshpande. Illustrator Shri Krishna Kedileya. Translator Divaspati Hegde. And the publisher is Pratham Books. This story is going to be an informative one. We are going to uh, get some information, useful information about the cow and the milk which we drink. Raju lived in the city. But in the summer, when school was out, Raju headed straight for his Ajja's house in the village. Ajja meaning grandfather in Kannada language. Raju was living in the city. Every summer vacation, he used to visit his grandfather's house, which was in the village. This time also he visited. Every summer, he learned something new at Ajja's house. This time, he was to learn that in the village, milk does not come out of plastic sachets. So every summer when he visited his grandfather's place, he learns new things. But this time he is going to learn about the milk which comes in the plastic packets. Sachet meaning packets. The evening he arrived, Ajji took him to the cow shed behind the house. Four gentle brown cows were munching on the hay Ajji had collected for them. Ajji meaning grandmother in Kannada language. So when uh, Raju came uh, to the village, his grandmother took him to the cow shed and showed the brown cows, four brown cows which he had in the cow shed. They were all eating the hay which Ajji has fed. A couple of frisky young calves jumped around playfully. Raju enjoyed watching them. He thought they were very sweet. So frisky meaning playful or energetic. So he saw two young calves jumping around and playing. He was so happy to watch them. Raju, remember the glass of milk you just had? This is the cow that the milk came from, said Ajji. The milk I drank came from a cow? Asked Raju, very surprised. You mean you just milked her and there was my glass of milk ready to drink? Raju's grandmother showed a cow and said, do you remember the milk which you had now? This was the cow which gave you that milk. So Raju couldn't believe because he doesn't know that it comes from a cow. He has seen only the plastic packets in the city. So he was so surprised to hear that. Yes, Raju, smiled Ajji. Come and meet my cows. This is Kaveri, whose milk you just drank. This is Kapila, this one is Ganga, and there at the far corner is Gauri. Raju stood where he was, looking at the cows doubtfully. Come, Raju, coaxed Ajji. Come and touch them. They won't hurt you. Now, uh, Raju's grandmother smiled and asked him to meet her cows. She just introduced the first uh, cow's name is Kaveri. The second one is Kapila. The third one is Ganga. And the fourth one which stands far is the is Gauri. And she also mentioned that Kaveri is the cow which gave the milk just now he drank. And uh, she took him near the cow and said, come near the cow and touch them. It will not hurt you. As Raju moved among them, the calves moved closer to their mothers and mooed 
wondering if they could trust the stranger. Their mothers licked them, letting them know Raju was a friend. Now Raju came close to the calves. But the calves got afraid and they went and stood near their mothers. They started making a sound or a cry. So moo meaning cry or a sound. In turn, the cows implied by licking the calves saying that Raju is not a stranger and he is a friend. You need not be afraid of Raju. Raju picked up courage and reached up to touch Gauri's neck. It felt all soft and wrinkly, somewhat like Ajji's neck. Gauri moved at Raju's touch, wanting to be friends. Wrinkly meaning folds or lines due to old age is called wrinkly. So Raju gained courage and he went near the cow and started touching its neck. It was so soft like the grandmother's skin. Gauri also made a sound saying that it also liked Raju and want to be his friend. Do you know how milk comes out of the cow, Raju? Asked Ajji. No, Ajji, said Raju, feeling a little silly. All I know is that in the city, our milk comes to our door in plastic sachets. Now Raju said, no, I don't have any idea. By saying that he felt so foolish. Come, let me show you, said Ajji. Taking him by the hand, she led him to Kapila. Kapila's calf was close by. Now Ajji took Raju near Kapila. Ajji first allowed the calf to suckle and drink as much milk as she needed. Then she washed Kapila's udders with water and cleaned them. Sitting on her haunches, she began to milk the cow, pressing the udders gently between finger and thumb. So udders, meaning I will just show you from the picture, okay? Udders. This part is called the udder from where the milk comes. And again, haunches, meaning I will show you again in the picture. The grandmother sitting like this, this position is called haunches. Before milking the cow, Ajji made the calf to drink the milk as much she wants. Then she washed the cow's udders with water and see, sitting in this position, she started milking the cow. See how she milks the cow using the thumb finger and the finger. As Raju watched, milk spurted from the udders into the vessel below. The vessel began to fill up slowly and the milk began to turn frothy at the top. Raju was surprised and pleased to see the frothy milk spurted, meaning to come out quickly with great force. It's called spurted. And Frothy is covered with lots of small, small bubbles. It's called frothy. As Ajji squeezed the milk from the udders of the cow, the vessel started filling, forming bubbles on top of the vessel due to the 
force and raju enjoyed the scene see how forcefully it comes from the adders this one is the adder i have shown you in the last picture right so from the adders the milk comes with full force and it fills in the vessel forming small small bubbles on top of the vessel see i'll just show that picture also see how small small bubbles is formed on top of the vessel here this is called frothy arji he said excitedly see how the bubbles are forming at the top yes raju said arji smiling at his excitement when i pull on the udders powerful jets of milk come out they hit the surface of the milk in the vessel with great force mixing with the air and forming bubbles that is what makes fresh milk taste so different from milk that comes out of a packet rajiv now happily called his grandmother aji see how nice it is to watch this to see the bubbles forming on top of the vessel so he enjoyed aji also was happy to see raju enjoying this and she said see when i milk the cow the milk from the udders come with great force it mixes with the air and forms that small small bubbles this is the reason which makes the fresh milk so tastier than the packet milks wow i had no idea said raju ajji boiled the fresh frothy milk in the kitchen and poured out a glass for raju it tasted so good that raju finished it in a few quick gulps gulps meaning to swallow large amount of liquid or food quickly is called gulp so now raju said oh i didn't know that and now ajji boiled the fresh milk and gave a glass full of milk to raju to drink it was so yummy that raju finished it very quickly ajji when i go back to the city i shall tell all my friends where milk comes from said raju i shall tell them how good fresh milk tastes at my ajji's house ajji laughed happily do that my little raju she said then everyone will know who is the cleverest boy in the class now raju said after going back home i will tell all my friends about the yummy milk i had in my grandmother's place ajji was happy to hear that and she said yes you should go and share all these information with your friends did you all enjoy bye difficult words frisky energetic or playful spurted to come out quickly with great force move cry or making a sound gulp to swallow large amount of food or drink etc quickly coaxed to persuade someone gently frothy covered with lots of small bubbles try these questions explain something interesting that you have seen in your village or your relatives village that you found out like raju second which part of the story did you like and why